Hi and welcome to That Family with Dogs channel. Today I am going to show you how to get your dogs a divided attention. And when I mean attention, I don't just mean a small perk on the ears or a small twitch on the body. I mean, I'm going to show you how to get your dog to make an eye contact with you. Because let's face it, if you don't have your dog's attention and eye contact, you actually don't have your dog at all. It should be practicing this on an early stage when bringing home a puppy with them. Regardless what you're going to do with it, whether you're going to have it just as, an, as a companion dog, or you're going to bring that dog later in the future um, to an advanced training program. Mastering this from such an early stage will be both beneficial for you and your dog. Alright, just before we start, let me just explain to you, by doing this method, you are actually at the same time building a bond with your dog and having that dog, puppy, um, coming to you when it's being called, right? So you will see that once your dog gets used to making eye contact with you, further dog training will be much more easier. All right, so for the first step, what you want to do is getting your dog used to hearing its name out. This dog's name is Boss. And, um, you know, Boss has had experience uh, in this kind of training before. That's why it's, he's actually right now next to me. But for a quick demonstration, what you would want is when the dog or when your puppy is being distracted, you call the puppy's name. So I'm going to distract him by throwing one of his tweets far away. What? All right, so I'm going to call him now, boss. And then give him that treat, right? So what you want is when he is distracted somewhere else, then you call him, then you give him um, his treat, right? So for example, I'm going to throw his treat again. Call him back, boss. So that's what you want to do as a repetition. You get the dog distracted somewhere else, call it by name, and when he, when he does come, you give him that treat. Let's do that one more time. Boss. All right, so do that over and over again until he really gets used to it, until you see what boss is doing right now with your dog, then you can move on to the next stage. And for the second step, once you know your dog comes to you perfectly when it's being called, you can move on to this stage, which is guiding your dog's eye to your face. So he gets used to looking up to your face, all right? I'm gonna do this kneeling down, because boss is pretty small, but um, this is the idea, all right? You show him the treat in your hand, and you put it in front of your face. Once he looks at you, you give the treat. All right, let's do that again. All right, so you only give the treat when you know that the dog is looking to your face. It doesn't really matter whether he's looking at your eyes, your nose, your cheeks, your ears, as long as he's looking to your face, give him that treat. We'll do that again. Good job, yes. Okay, yes. All right, so now we are ready to go to the next step, which is a much more advanced step. All right, now that your dog knows how to look at your face because you're guiding him there, what we want to do right now is put him in the test, which is he should be looking at our face without our hand actually being in front of our face. What we're going to do is Put the treat, cover it with the palm of your hand, and when he does this, you just say, no. And when he looks at you, you actually, you actually give him the treat by opening your hand. Even, even if he doesn't, even if he doesn't uh, make an eye contact, as long as you see him attempting to look at you, then you open and give him the treat. No. Nope. Okay. All right, we're going to practice that again. Treat down here. Nope. Okay. 
All right, let's try that one more time. Hopefully, he's going to look up straight away. Yes. Remember, we only give him the treat when he's looking. Yes! Sit. Yes! Last one. Yes! All right, for this last step, right, let's really, really put boss on the test. We are going to put his favorite treat on the, uh, on the floor and we're not going to cover it. He should be waiting and looking at me, making eye contact and waiting for my command to say okay. All right, so here it goes. Let's see. Okay. Good job, boss. Okay. Good job, bossy. Good job. Stay. Okay. Okay, good job. All right. Okay, good job. Now, you have to have a clear eye contact. I mean, you know it because you're going to have that dog stare at you. So once you have that, then you can give out the um, okay command or the okay signal. Okay, boss. Good job, Bossy. Okay. All right, sit, Bossy. All right, let's put it really close to where he is. No, no, no. Okay. Good job, Bossy. Good job. All right, so once your dog has mastered the eye contact with you, it will be so much easier for further training, whether you're going to teach him sit down, stay, you know, or um, go fetch or wait. You know, he's, he's just going to wait for your next command and he is going to look at you. Like right now, if you can see boss, he's actually paying attention to me because he knows I've got history. Gradually, when we go outside, um, he's going to get used to it, you know, coming to me when I call him or when I ask him to do something. Uh, before that, he's going to look at me and he's going to get used to not getting treats. But this is the best um, practice, in my opinion, before even going into any kind of training, right? Um, getting your dog's undivided attention so that whatever you ask for him, it's going to be much more easier. Who knows? This might even save your dog's life one day. You know, um, when crossing the street, we don't want your dog to be jolting out, you know, across the road with, with cars all over. So he's going to look at you, pay attention to you, wait for your command. What is it that you're going to tell him, you know? Like before crossing the street, for example, you'd want him, you'd want to tell your dog to stay or to wait, right? And he's going to look up to you like that, and there's that eye contact for better communication. All right? Okay. Good job, boss. Okay. One more, boss. Okay. All right, guys. So if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more tips and tricks like these, uh, please hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. Also, um, hit that bell button so you won't miss any future videos that I'm going to make later. And um, if you're going to try this method and if you, and if you succeed, let me know in the comment below what you think about it and how um, you've bonded with your dog and what was your dog's reaction, whether it worked or not. 
um, what are the difficulties you're facing. Um, we can uh, talk about it in the in the comment um, section, and um, you know I'll probably hit you an email or or two, and we can do this on a one-on-one -on -one basis also. So from me and boss, we thank you for watching, and don't forget that subscribe button. Skyler, come here. You want to say bye? Hi, this is Skyler. This is my son. He is. He is. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ew! 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 ew. Worse. Worse. Uh, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> right. We'll see you guys. Bye bye, bye guys. Bye.